what kinds of features do programs need to have? Um, and why don't we always get the expected benefits? Well, if, if we look at the not just state funded programs, but public programs and private programs generally, the initial impacts on children's learning and development can often be very small. Um, these may fade or even become negative later. Social and emotional development can be negatively impacted by long hours of poor quality programs. Having said that, we also see some programs have large positive effects that last a lifetime. Bottom line is uh, you can start with a good model, that's important, but every state needs to have a continuous improvement system to monitor the quality of their programs, the impacts they're producing, if they're gonna ensure that they get the results they want. I, I think I call this a GPS, right? A GPS tells you where you are, relative to where you want to go and gives you step-by-step -step directions to correct your course if you're not moving in the right direction. If you don't have that kind of system in place for an early childhood program, you are very unlikely to end up at your destination. So this is really plan, do, review, set your program standards. What is it we want children to learn and be able to do? What do teachers have to do to make that happen? What resources do we have to provide them so they can do that? Then you measure and assess the implementation of that. You analyze and plan based on that. You implement change in professional development to move the system and you repeat. This requires an integrated system. I, I'm gonna take you through this very quickly. Um, you can need an integrated system of curriculum, assessment, professional development. It starts with these learning goals, moves through your curriculum, you have to have some kind of ongoing child assessment, not as an accountability system, but to give feedback to teachers, to leaders on how are our kids doing. So we know that we're moving them in the right direction and getting the results we want. It's about feeding information into the system you can use to improve. And how do you do that with workshops, professional learning communities, individual reflective coaching, and at every level of the system, right? You need this for individual teachers in their classrooms. You need this for entire school districts. State has a, has a big role in making sure that that, that feedback loop exists and, and that feedback is getting into the loop at each level.